Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. T today we're going to discuss uh, the definition of the logarithm as an inverse function and basically revisit this video. I made, I made a similar video a while back ago, but I was pointing out to a mistake by a guy named Dave. Uh, basically, in my earlier video titled Logarithmics and Logarithms and Their Properties and Introduction, I had someone notice uh, that I had made a mistake in the way I had defined the logarithmic function. In fact, I was indeed technically incorrect in the way I defined the logarithmic function, but regardless, I still had applied the definition correctly throughout the rest of that video, and in fact, all further videos that I've done. So it was more of a notation error in the definition. So now to clarify and clear up any confusion on the definition of the logarithmic function, I'll revisit it again in this video. Now the mistake that I had made in that video, and you can see that video in the video link below in the description, was making the following statement in the definition. I, I had stated if, if you had a to the power of y equals to x, then I stated that the, then the inverse would be inverse function would be basically uh, y equals 2 log base a of x. Now this in fact is wrong. Now the mistake here is, uh, is, is that basically y, the function y equals log uh, base a of x is not the inverse function of x equals a to the y, but rather y equals a to the x. In fact, this and this are actually pretty much identical. So this is not uh, true. So again, this is just a sim this is simply a notation error. Just mixed up the x and y's, and I and I believe it has arose from the confusing way that inverse functions are defined, and I'll go over that. So now let's uh, understand why this uh, error came about. Let's recall the conventional method of defining inverse functions. Let function f be a one-to-one -one function. Again, one-to-one -one just means for every y, there is one x value only. And you can learn more about that in the video link below. So again, this function has a domain a and a range b, then its inverse function f with a negative one uh, superscript has domain B and range A. So basically all we're doing is switching the X and Y axis. That's pretty much it. And the way it's uh, conventionally defined is that if you have this right here, F inverse Y equals X, whenever you have F of X, equals y. So pretty much it's saying that you're graphing that function but about the x-axis uh, whenever you graph the function about the y-axis. So again this is a confusing way and this this is pretty much a criteria that needs to be met and again for any y in b that's just the uh, range of, of y. So and again uh, when simply switching the variables y and x we get the more common usage of the definition we have right here um, inverse of x equals y whenever you have f of y equals x. So again, this entire de definition is a bit confusing. It's not too uh, straightforward. And I fell for that same uh, pretty much mistake uh, well, well, because of this confusing way of defined. And the confusion here is that it appears that, again, the inverse function y equals f uh, inverse of x is the inverse function of y and of f of y equals x. So this appears that this is the inverse of this, which explains the error I made. But so this is not actually the inverse. This is just a criteria that's being made, you know, a, a criteria that needs to be met for the inverse to be true. So again, this is all jumbled up, and I'll uh, I'll make a better definition soon. So again, which explains a notation error that I made, which was again, if you were to write it. In this form, I had written uh, log base a of x equals y is it was basically what I had stated was this is the inverse of, so this is the mistake I had made of a to the y equals x. So pretty much this, this is, I was following this exact uh, pattern, except this is when, this is stating whenever, this is stating is the inverse of which is this is a criteria yeah it's a criteria and it's not in fact saying this is the inverse function of this so that's a mistake I 
And as I've typed here, uh, as can be seen, the mistake is due to the fact that the, that the definition of the inverse function is rather a criteria that needs to be met for a function to be an inverse of another function and not simply as this function is inverse of another, which I had done over here, which I mistakenly applied in the, in the logarithmic function. So this is a criteria and not a statement saying this is the inverse of, of that. So now a more clear definition of the inverse function uh, utilizes the fact that this is the criteria that needs to be met for a function to be an inverse of another function. So that this follows right here. This is a more clear definition is over is written right here. The function g is the inverse of the function f if the following is true. So whenever yeah, you know, whenever we have y equals to f of x, and then then if we get uh, g of y equals to well uh, x, or you could write it as g of f of x equals to x. So again, what, what we're doing is inverting the y and x. So if this occurs, then the function g of x is equal to the inverse function uh, of x right here. And this is ba basically the inverse yeah, this is the inverse of the function f of x. So this is a more clear definition. And this could be seen that it's more clear when we carry this over to the logarithmic function. We again have the more clear definition. I'll write it down. So whenever we have, we have the function y equals a to the x, then we need to compare um, what the function yeah, the function, the logarithmic function, which was defined earlier. So basically what we have is log right here, a of y equals to x right here. And this is, this in fact does equal, when you plug it in, you have log a, a to the x. And again, using the log rules, just as by definition, this cancels out, this equals to x right here. I'll write it equals to x. So this, this statement or this criteria has been met. Uh, thus what we have is, thus the inverse function is, is basically log a of x. And again, this is basically, this just says the inverse, this is, this is the inverse of the function of again y equals or y equals to f of x equals to ax. So this is the inverse of ax not a to the y equals x. So again this is just a bit more clarification. So again the main thing is that this is a criteria that needs to be met. That's the definition of inverse functions and and it's not a simple this is the inverse of that which is uh, not true. Anyways, hopefully this uh, brought up uh, or cleared up some confusion you might have seen. Uh, also, thanks to that guy that uh, brought this up. His name is Dave. Thanks, Dave, for uh, letting me know that I made the mistake and, and let me know if I didn't make any other mistakes in other videos. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned and like always, you can download these exact notes in the video links below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.